Be clean as he back in the building, bro. You the MVP. Behind the camera, all last year. I'm glad I got you on the team, bro. Big Steve. Big Steve. Big Steve. Big Steve. Big Steve. Don't f*** up, bro. I believe in you. Okay? I believe that you will not f*** up. Because if you f*** up today, Steve, I just don't know what I'm going to do. All right, Clyde. Put me on. Welcome to UBTV, and we back in this bitch. Yes, sir. Now, I know we I, we missed a lot of shit. Bro, it's been some months since I've been able to make one of these videos. And last time I made these videos, about got kicked off the internet. Kind of did get kicked off the YouTube internet. So, there's a chance that this will be uploaded elsewhere. At the very least, the backup page, because I'm not sure if I want to jeopardize all of my other content with this controversial content even though the other stuff is controversial but for some reason when I'm talking on screen and I'm using a few choice words that anybody else can use you know rappers can talk about killing each other all day but if I express my opinion sharply it's a problem and they want to kick me off the internet anyway I guess this season I'm going to start in the same place I started last season Lori Lightfoot may be out as Chicago mayor but the urinals in Wrigley Field still remain. I got in touch with our Chicago correspondent, Chef Cardell, and he actually took new pictures of the newly renovated troughs at Wrigley Field. So before it was, you know, eight to 10 dicks flapping in the wind, all saying hi to each other. Now it's like two or three. These troughs are a lot more intimate. Bronus out of Russian captivity. And you know, all we really had to do was trade her for an international gun runner, nicknamed the Merchant of Death. And I'll be honest, guys, I'll be honest, it does seem like a fair trade. He kills people, she kills pussy. I know, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. There's no proof that he killed anyone. AI out here with Drake songs, fucking rap by Kendrick Lamar. They meshing all kinds of shit. If I said, if I told AI to make Britney Griner with a fresh ass beard, what you think they gonna do? With 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 AI, does AI have any bias? Can can AI be transphobic? And that brings us to our opening story tonight. Is AI getting out of control? Wrong AI, Steve. Damn, Claude, how long did that take? Coming up. Damn, Steve! I mean, shit, bruh. Shit. But, you know, I wasn't gonna say nothing, but Steve was right here, bro. Nigga, you know you owe me $20. That was a stupid bet. Stupid bet. You can cash out. Put me on. Artificial intelligence. I know a lot of people think it's cool. But I'll be honest with you. I'm not fucking with it. Something just doesn't sit right with me about this whole thing. A computer that programs itself. Well, who's the motherfucker who programmed the computer that programs itself? Who's the motherfucker who programmed the motherfucker who programmed the computer that programs itself? Who's the motherfucker who programmed the motherfucker who programmed the motherfucker who programmed the computer that programs itself? All fingers point to big tech. Now, is this technology actually being instituted to push humankind forward? Because thus far, all I've seen it do is imitate and counterfeit human creativity. And if you can use AI to be creative, then what is actually being gained through the process of creation? What do you mean the 
robots. What robots? The damn robots, John! And then it could just go fast. That's an issue, right? We have to think hard about how to control that. Yeah, can we? We don't know. We haven't been there yet, but we can try. Okay, that seems kind of concerning. Um, yes. Do you have any, you're seen as like a godfather of this industry. Do you have any concern about what you've wrought? I do a bit. On the other hand, I think whatever is going to happen is pretty much inevitable. It, mm. That is, one person stopping doing research wouldn't stop this happening. If my impact is to make it happen a month earlier, that's about the limit of what one person can do. Because if it's not sentient, but it decides for whatever reason that it believes it is and it needs to achieve some goal that is contrary to our interests, but it believes in its interests, does it really matter if in any human reflection? Well, I think a good, a good context to think of this in is an autonomous lethal weapon. Yeah. Okay? So it's all very well saying it's not sentient, but when it's hunting you down to shoot you, um, yeah, you're going to start thinking it's sentient. But when it's hunting you down to shoot you, um, yeah, you're going to start thinking it's sentient. Now, what robots are you talking about? The goddamn robots, John! Steve, Steve, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Got something for you to do, but while I got you, every time I try to find you, I have no idea where you are. But every time I see you, Back and forth, from this room to the next room, in the building, out the building. It's like you're doing a bunch of shit, but you never get shit done. It's like you're running back and forth to the car, beat your meat, and then come back on set. You're not beating your meat on company time, are you, Steve? I hope not. I hope not. Put me on, class. It seems like every time there's some mass shooting, some school shooter, the media seems to always want to blame the gun. It's as if the gun loaded itself, pointed itself, and pulled its own trigger. Like there's not a single crazy motherfucker missing from this whole equation. 